Welcome back to my channel for a short Hasselblad episode. I think I'm known on my channel for diligent, sometimes very long, and maybe sometimes also exhaustive tutorials and tips and tricks sessions on various cameras from various brands. For the Hasselblad X2D Mark II, I will try a different format now. I want to provide a series of quick tip videos where you can pick a certain topic, look it up, and then hopefully find the information or the insight you're looking for. And uh, let me pick one example on my channel. This is my fully fledged tutorial with a lot of tips and tricks on the Sony A7R Mark V. I posted it some time back. It has a lot of views. I got a lot of good feedback, but it's very exhausting to produce these videos and it's very exhausting for you to watch them. So let's try a new format. Let's go for quick tip videos. Let's get a lot of them because I have a lot to say about this new Hasselblad X2D Mark II. And today, actually in this video, I will provide my first quick tip video on a certain topic that will for sure interest a lot of people. Let's kick this off. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and support my work. Many thanks for that. This quick tip video is about autofocus continuous compatibility of Hasselblad XCD lenses. Let's play the following scenario. You finally got your Hasselblad X2D Mark II. You switch it on. You mounted one of the more modern lenses. So this is the XCD 2.5 38W and you want to see how continuous autofocus is working. So you remove the lens cap. We have Jennifer here in front of us. We go to ISO auto mode. We go into aperture priority. So we get exposure automatically here. We focus. And now we want to switch into continuous autofocus and play with it to learn how this new feature, which is very, very important in my opinion, is really working and how you can use it for your benefit in your photography. So you go here into the control screen you tap on autofocus single and all of a sudden you see you can choose manual focus, you can choose autofocus single, but autofocus continuous is grayed out and it says autofocus continuous not supported by lens firmware version. Then don't panic. Hasselblad is aware that this autofocus continuous mode is a new feature and that generally the X2D Mark 200 c is a new camera. So they provided a very nice, very comprehensive FAQ here. And if you scroll down here, you find the question which a lot of people ask, namely, which lenses are compatible with autofocus continuous? And uh, you find here the XCD 2.824-35200E. That's, of course, the very brand new zoom lens, which everybody is trying to get and hunting for. Then we have all the V lenses, the 38V, the 55V, the 25V, the 90V. We have the XCD 428P and the XCD 3.475P, where, by the way, you find a very recent review on my channel where I did shoot my photo model, Stephanie. So we get all the information we need. And uh, what it says, of course, is you need to have the latest firmware and uh, it will not work autofocus continuous if you switch to electronic shutter, which I do not recommend anyway, for reasons which will probably be the topic of another quick tip in the future. So then you go to downloads and uh, you saw on my camera, I have currently the 38 we mounted. It says firmware is not compatible. So you basically search for your lens here. We have here the 38 we we have the firmware. Newest is 1.9.7, we download it and then we install it to the camera and then the problem should actually be fixed. The firmware update file is now on my Compact Flash Express Type B card. We go here into general. In general, we scroll down all the way until we find service. And in service, we find camera firmware, lens firmware, and you see it's not the newest version I have here. It's an older version. So we go for check for update and then we need to find the correct file. And here it's this one here, XCD Lens Firmware XCD 28P, 38V, 55V, 75P in version 1.9.7. So we choose update here, we update this, and then we let the camera do its thing. The update process doesn't take overly long, and then you will get a message on the LCD screen saying update succeeded, ready to be used. You tap OK, 
and you are good to go. And now if we go on autofocus single, we can actually switch to autofocus continuous and can focus on Jennifer and can track her if we want. That's the way it works. So don't panic if you get this message. First check if the lens that you want to use with autofocus continuous is included in that list in the FAQ on the Hasselblad website. If you find it there, make sure you get the newest firmware and you are good to go. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel. There's always more to come. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. And of course, peace out.